Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate ClickUp with Salesforce. This integration can help streamline your workflow and make collaboration with your team even easier. So let's start. First, make sure that you have a ClickUp account and a Salesforce account. Once you have those, log into your ClickUp dashboard and click on your profile icon at the bottom left corner. Then here, click on Integrations. As you can see, Salesforce is not available in this integration center. So, we will use Zapier to integrate ClickUp with Salesforce. Now, go to zapier.com and log into your account. If you don't have one yet, you can create one for free. Once you're logged in, click on the Create Zap button at the top left corner of the screen. Here, first change the name of the Zap. For example, I will name it ClickUp with Salesforce. Next, search for ClickUp as your trigger app and select the trigger that you want to use. For example, you can choose a new task. This means that every time a new task is created in ClickUp, Zapier will automatically trigger an action in Salesforce. After that, click on Continue. Here, connect your ClickUp account and click on Continue. Select the workspace that you want to use, then click Continue again. After that, test your trigger to confirm that the right account is connected and that your trigger is set up correctly. Once the item was found, click the continue button to proceed. Now let's move on to Salesforce. In the action step, search for Salesforce and select the action that you want to use. For example, you can choose add contact to campaign. This means that every time a new task is created in ClickUp, Zapier will automatically add an existing contact to an existing campaign in Salesforce. After that, you'll need to connect your Salesforce account to Zapier as well. Follow the prompts to do so. Once you have connected your Salesforce account, Zapier will ask you to set up the action. To map the ClickUp data to Salesforce, simply click on the fields and select the appropriate data from the ClickUp. Once you are done, test the Zap to make sure it is working properly. If it is, you can now publish the Zap and turn it on, then start automating your workflow. So that's it. If you wanted to know how to integrate ClickUp and Salesforce, that is the easiest way I know how. I hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, kindly give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.